This video demonstrates how to access apps.msjc.edu in order to run remote applications. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you're running a Windows operating system and you're running Internet Explorer version 8 or later. In this case I'm using Internet Explorer 10. So I'm going to go point my browser to apps.msjc.edu. This will bring me to the apps.msjc.edu webpage. When you first access this webpage, you may be required to load an ActiveX control. If you are, you must click Yes and install that ActiveX control. In order to access apps.msjc.edu for the first time, uh, if you're using IE10, you may want to run your browser in IE uh, compatibility mode. To do that, you hit F12 on your keyboard. And right here where it says browser mode, if it's in IE 10 now, you can drop it down to IE 9. Uh, this gives you a little bit better of a viewing experience when you're using apps.msjc.edu. The first thing you need to do is log on. Where you see it says domain slash username, you must put in msjc slash and then your Blackboard username. Your Blackboard username is the same account that you use to access my.msjc.edu. You then are going to put the password that you use to access Blackboard. This is the same password you use to access my.msjc.edu. You can then choose this is a public or shared computer or a private computer. It doesn't matter which one you select. And then choose the sign-in option. Please be patient with this process as it loads all the applications that are available for your use. Once it's loaded all the applications, you will see a list of all the applications that are available for your use. When you want to run an application, be sure that you just click on the application once. You do not double click. Double clicking causes the application to open up behind the browser. So in this case, let's say I wanted to access the application called Notepad. I'm going to click on it once and it's going to come up with a warning asking me if I want to connect to this application. I'm going to say connect. It'll then pop with an, a Windows security box. Type msjc backslash and your Blackboard username. Follow this with your Blackboard password and then click OK. It will then launch this application. The first time you do this it takes a little while so please be patient. Now that the application is loaded, you'll notice that I have the application called Notepad sitting right here ready to use. So now I can go ahead and type my note. Now, very important, notice down in your taskbar of your computer, there's a little white circle with two green arrows. That means that this application is being used over a remote instance. It is not the application that is on your local computer. It's an application running remotely on the apps.msjc web farm. When, you, when you're ready to save a file that you're working on, when you go File Save As, it will save it in the Documents directory on the server. It will not save it in the Documents directory that is uh, on your local computer. So the documents you see right here is on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and type here, this is my note, note, notes on the server. So that's going to be the title of my document. And now I've saved that. When I'm ready to exit this application, I can just do file exit, application closes. Now to show you that this is on the my documents on the server, notice you have a link called my documents. I'm going to click on it once, accept the connect window. I did not have to authenticate again because I've already done so. And notice that my notes are sitting right there in the My Documents. If you wanted to copy this to your local computer, you could right click on this and choose copy, just like that. Then you can minimize your windows and go to your desktop, right click and choose paste. And now I've copied the document to my local computer.
So this is how you gain access to the My Documents. Um, and so when you're done looking at My Documents, you can close it. Some people like to access apps.msjc um, the same way you would access a computer. You can do that. Down here, there's an icon called Remote Desktop. Don't click the Remote Desktop option up here to the top. Rather, click the Remote Desktop icon. Just click it once and then choose the Connect option. Once you've authenticated, it'll go ahead and build your profile and it's going to load a window that looks much like a PC would look like at one of our computer labs. Please be patient with this as it's preparing a desktop um, and loading all the applications just like it was loading the applications to show you on the apps.msjc.edu page. All right, after waiting for your profile to load, you'll be presented with a, with a remote desktop that looks like this. This is uh, basically looks like what one of the computers might look like in our lab. You'll notice that you can minimize this and go back to your desktop. And if you search for it in your taskbar, you can go back to it. So you can flip back between this computer and your local computer. If you click on the Start button, you can see all of the programs that are available to you to run straight from this desktop. For example, we can also go and we can open up that notepad that we talked about. We can run that just from here. Or, for example, I can go to Microsoft Office and I can run any of the applications such as Microsoft Word. Once again, every one of these has access to that My Documents directory that we talked about before. So, for example, I can uh, go here to All Files and I can see this is the notes on my server. So this is how you access this. To get out of this, you can click this X up here to close it, or you can choose the Start button and choose Log Off, whichever you prefer. So that's how you use the remote desktop. When you're done with apps.msjc, just go ahead and click Sign Out, and that's how you complete the process.